Welcome back to the channel everyone, today we have another ranked Red Dragon match, and this one, well, if you've clicked on it, you've seen the title, Embarrassing Misstep, so it does not exactly go as planned. I am relying on the Blue Dragons Coalition once more, and well, let's get started. So, most of my forces I've sent over because I am pretty sure that securing Bravo and a, a wedge on Foxtrot from the east will be a good long-term strategy. And I, well, this is my second ranked game, I kind of expected the sort of gridlock that I'd had in the previous one after initial lack of success. So I go with a token force to secure Echo, I see that he's smoking golf, and I think to myself, okay, I have made a mistake. Because most of my forces are over in Bravo, I am, yep, okay, I see these BTRs, he has motorized forces headed right toward golf, and I don't have the appropriate counter anywhere close to ready. So my OH-6D is killed by an AA piece. I disembark all my troops that were meant for this town, uh, well, well short of it, and go, okay, well, you know what? We have IFEs, we have things to maybe sort of push this town right off the start. I've secured Bravo, but I've completely, f well, I don't have the micro at the moment to deal with this and get these people sufficiently into different houses. So, well, there's a bomber and it's a big one. So I lose my Chuma, which weren't snapped to a house, we have a gun were. Uh, they're already pretty fragile. I lose them. Um, there's more smoke going down from, well, this Lieutenant Colonel, who's much more experienced in this game than I am, and I'm getting pushed back in golf. So I think to myself, okay, well, at least I have a good toehold in Bravo. It's not ideal, but maybe we can recover from it. I go with the bombing run, doesn't actually do all that much, uh, if we're looking at the full replay, doesn't actually do very much, unfortunately. And I'm thinking to myself at this point, okay, well we'll keep the Mistral's back, maybe we'll get lucky and he'll send over a scout helicopter or something I can shoot down, but ZTZs are on the way and I'm panicking because the way to Echo and Alpha is open, and sure enough, he's taking advantage of that. So I see these two coming, I realize I'm way too close to the road here and I move. And he's probably done this before, and figures, okay, well, yep. It turns off nearly exactly the right point, and kills my command vehicle. And I think to myself, okay, well, I have the gun. There are five point transports, these WZs. It's not the end of the world. We can still secure it. We can still secure it. My opponent has only Delta right now, so he's not exactly getting a points advantage on me. That's at least a saving grace there. Peace Pheasant 2 comes in, does get two nice tank kills, but... You know, unfortunately, eats a couple AT level AA pieces to the face, and I'm looking for those vehicles that I last saw in Echo. They were here, and I don't know where they've gone, so okay, well that's fine. Um, maybe, yep, Charlie is secured. <clears throat> if I can re-secure Echo, if I can secure Bravo, I'm thinking that at this point, well, we might be alright. Hachikyushiki is moving up a little bit aggressively. J7H does come and bomb it, although it's already been killed by his ETC tank. And yeah, well, I'm kind of toast. So if we look at the neutral bit at this point, Charlie is secured by a couple cost-efficient units, recon. There are big gaps here, but none that I can really comfortably exploit. I wanted the Hachi Nanashiki to go uh, back. I suspected this was open. I wanted him to go back without shooting, but he gave away his position and got shot in return. And this forward position in golf is very well established. It's locking me out of a whole side of the map, much more effectively than my position in Bravo is doing in return. So not exactly ideal. And now we can see, yep, these WZ551s. Okay, 15 points each, but still, this is just, they barely even have ammunition left. And he's moving them all the way up toward Alpha. They are amphibious, which means that they can cross this river. And if you're still watching, my guess is you can probably guess what's going to happen next. So here I am trying to secure Echo. I have Yeva Gun out as screening forces everywhere, and I think to myself, okay, I can bring a Jiwicha up there, we'll get the plus two, we'll deal with this plus two bleed, and he hasn't pushed me in Bravo, so at least I have that secure. He hasn't really pushed me past Golf, so maybe he's content here, and we can sort of grind our way through it with cost-effective infantry and vehicle support. Um, I was thinking maybe I got him to panic a little bit, killing those tanks that were moving forward previously. And the WZs get to my home zone, 1, 2, and that's the game. 
I got 145 points of kills and took 1,655 points in losses, uh, which may include everything on the field because I got completely pushed off it. I'm not entirely sure. I don't think it did. I think it was just that bad of a game. Um, yeah, well, thank you all for hanging around. The next one went slightly better, so uh, hopefully we'll see you there.